Hello everyone, I'm Kevin with Skylab Flight Systems. Today I am going to show you how to update the firmware on your unique Typhoon personal ground station. Either the ST10, the ST10 Plus, or the ST10 Plus 4K. To do this update, you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need your radio. You're going to need a blank micro SD card. Um, 4 gig is fine if that's all you have anything will work uh, and then you're also going to need a laptop with an internet connection so let's get started okay guys next step you're going to take your micro SD card and, and go to your laptop uh, at the laptop um, if you're viewing this on Skylab Flight Systems website I've provided a link that takes you to the unique forums where you can download your uh, appropriate firmware. Uh, that link is just above the videos and the website will look like this um, over on the right hand side. Scroll down and pick ST10, ST10 Plus, ST10 Plus 4K um, and download the appropriate folder. I'm going to download the ST10 Plus because that's what I have um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the folder where that downloaded and it comes in a, in what's called a zip file. Um, for those of you that are not familiar, what that does is that, that just packs it all up so it's only one file to move around. Uh, so what I want you to do is uh, where you've downloaded it, create a new folder and call it update one. And I want you to copy those file that zip file to that folder. Once you've done that, I want you to then extract all. And inside of there, there will be three three files. One is a zip file, one is a PDF, and the other is a file folder. It's important that you do not unzip that other zip file. Leave it just as it is. You're going to copy those three files that just showed up in your update one folder. The firmware folder, the ST10 PDF, and the update. And you're going to copy those to your micro SD card. It's a small, it's a 117 megabytes, so it's not going to take that long. From there, we're going to move back to um, the ST10 or ST10 Plus or ST10 Plus 4K, whichever you have, and we're going to complete the steps. Okay? So let's get that out. Okay. Once you have your full, your update folder files, I should say, copied onto your micro SD card, you're now ready to move forward with updating your personal ground station. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your ground station and you're going to turn it over, remove the battery. Make sure you use the tab so you don't hurt anything. And just set it aside and you'll see a slot where the micro SD card goes. Push that up and flip it up. And then you're going to take the micro SD card with the letters and name on it facing up and lay it down. Be gentle. Once that frame is in place, slide it back down so it locks the SD card in place. And then you're going to replace the battery. And flip it over. Go ahead and power up.
Once you see this screen, go ahead and press the button that says System Settings in the lower left hand side. You're going to pick OK. And then you're going to pick About Flight Mode Control. You're going to scroll down to Radio Control Update and you're going to select it. Now, what you need to do is you need to select the file that you want to use to update. It'll automatically show on the left hand side. It'll say ST10 or ST10 Plus, etc. And it'll end in a .bin. So you'll select that and it's going to show up above where it says Update TX. Then you want to hit Update TX. Follow the instructions, please wait. Update success, you press OK. You hit finish. And then the next thing to do, to you're not done, you have to actually update the system. So next thing you do is hit the system update. Are you sure you want to update? Yes, you do, so hit OK. And then what's going to happen is, is it's going to go through and it's going to update your Android system. And that is it. The next thing that you need to do though before you move forward with updating the firmware on your aircraft or on your camera is go into the settings um, after the update is finished and reset your time and date because that is going to need to be done. Um, and that's it. You've now updated your, uh, your personal ground station from Unique for your Typhoon.